Today is Wednesday, and it's nice to be able to say that nothing too terrible happened yesterday. So far, this experience, each day we've expected to get a little more back to normal, and instead, each day had turned out to be a whole new kind of worse. The only new storm-related damage from yesterday was a broken window right up there that happened when they were taking the, the tree off of the roof. Let me show you how they've tarped the roof. It's weighted down with ropes tied to these sandbags. There's some sandbags up above, and they decided to tarp both the section over there that we know has a hole in the roof, as well as this one where the hole we believe is only in the eaves. They did this side just to be, just to be safe. It's not only held in place with the sandbags, it's also nailed in place with strips of wood. It is raining right now, and I'm glad that that tarp is up there. I'm wondering if he's going to try to jump on me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. My God's all up again. <laughs> <laughs> New tickles. They guys show each other their jumps, don't they? Mm-hmm. Don't want to jump right into my face. Are you watching yourself? No. <laughs> That's a pretty girl. That's a silly boy. What are you doing? You're too little for that. You're going to let him push you around, Sienna. Goodness, he's a boy. Some folks that I work with at the Red Cross reached out to see how I was doing. And when they heard, they offered that I could take next weekend off. It's, it's a very nice gesture. I really know how hard it is to keep up with everything when I'm not there. First, let me explain. I work in blood services. Excuse me. Hey, Dad. That sounds fine. All right, bye. My dad's coming over with the generator so we can power our freezers and some of the smaller things around here. It'll be nice not to have to waste all of that food that we've, we've got stuffed in the freezer. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I remember now. I work in 
the blood banking side of the Red Cross, not disaster services. So <clears throat> on Friday, we were working with collections from before the storm. So th there was a lot to do, just the normal, normal full day. Anytime we have a, a snowstorm or a holiday, something like that, our blood collections go way down. So I expect that this weekend they had a little less to do. So maybe it was a, a good weekend for me to take off. So I need to say that I work for the Red Cross, but I don't speak for the Red Cross. Any opinions I have in this video are just mine. They don't represent the Red Cross. The Red Cross must always remain a completely neutral organization, an organization of service for everyone without any bias. That said, I do encourage everybody to support the Red Cross especially in times of regional disaster. Maybe you can make a financial contribution or a blood donation. The need is constant and our supply isn't always that constant. So it does make a big difference. We can't do what we have to without your help. Over here, I'm just trying to utilize some of the more interesting branches that have come down as natural elements around the outside of our boy goat area. Let's take a quick look. It's still kind of a mess in here, but I couldn't resist having a little bit of fun with some of these branches that I've been picking up. A little artistic touch never hurts.
I'm still trying to see what's good out here and not just the destruction. These trees that have broken off and are now just absolutely cluttering this whole area. I'm grateful that they broke off rather than pulled the whole root ball out with this very steep and precarious slope. If the root ball had gone, then a lot of these access trails would be maybe not even not even able for me to fix and use later. And so for them to break the way they did is a good thing in one sense. I might need a little professional help getting some of this stuff cleared up. Ideally, we could use some of these logs as borders for some of the trails or lay them out as future nurse logs. It's hard to see right now with just with the mess out here, but we'll get there eventually. We had to run traffic here. We had to run to Union Mills feed out here to get some feed for our animals. We were down to about maybe a little more than a week's worth for our rabbits and our chickens, but we only had maybe a day or two left for our goats. So we really cut it a little close on that one. On the way here, we were just kind of looking to see how the how the tree damage was and you can see some but it it really doesn't look quite as bad as our backyard does or as bad as our driveway did Back from the feed store, and it feels good. 
to be fully stocked again. My dad has been here and gone already. So we've got the generator going over here, as you can, I'm sure you can hear. We've got it powering all the freezers and fridges inside and outside the house. After this long, with the power out, we still will probably have some food that we have to throw away. But most of the frozen stuff should be just fine. We kept those closed for the most part. We've got some log rounds left, and my dad is gonna use that as firewood. And that'll be just a nice thank you gesture for him letting us use the generator. We've been ready to move our goats out to the goat shed for a while. Now that the weather's a little warmer, we were just waiting for the deck to be cleared a little bit so we can carry the goats through the back and out, out to where they need to go. This is good enough now, so we're gonna go ahead and move them. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Careful. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set her down. <laughs> How do you like your new digs? Oh, little stormtrooper. Little stormtrooper. Come here, no, Sienna. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, nothing to cry about. This is home for a while. Yeah, this is home for a while. We've got some smaller mesh down below here so the little baby goats don't crawl, don't crawl through. Yeah, that's the colostrum poop. Yep. I'm sure everybody was interested in seeing that. 